So this is our little veggie box. It's quite overgrown. The pea sprouts got a little out of control. So I'm gonna trim them up and they're lovely to draw. They're so sweet. So I'm gonna collect a few bits of inspiration from here. The little carrots, a couple of beetroot leaves, some sweet peas. I find this stuff really inspiring to paint. And I've collected a few other bits and pieces from around the garden. Those, and oh, these are my favorite. I love these. Right. Let's go. these lovely little plants into the studio and what I'm doing now is making some flat lays just playing around with them making lovely little arrangements and seeing what kind of shapes they make and just seeing how beautiful they are what we can do with them how they lay together it's a really nice way of documenting them keeping the photos and also just exploring the shapes and seeing better ways to put them together than I may have thought if I wasn't playing around. I think that play is so important. It's little things like this that make my compositions and my work better in the end because I took the time to explore and have a little fun and see what works with what and anyway, it's just such a lovely thing to do. It's a lovely way to pass the time. So I've made a sketch of how I think I want this composition that I'm going to make to be and I'm going to start painting with gouache and watercolour and whatever else I feel like using on this Archer's watercolour paper, which is just beautiful paper. What you'll notice is that I'm not painting the composition that I sketched. I'm actually painting the individual leaves and plants as separates. Now there is a reason for this. I am basically building up a little library of images. If I painted the one composition, then I have one painting. But if I paint all the parts individually and bring them together later, then I basically have lots of plants that I can use for lots of different artworks. It gives me a little bit more bang for my buck, if you know what I mean. I am building this little library of images and icons of plants and flowers and I can use those in endless combinations. I will take these same elements and I can make three different types of cards out of them, three different kinds of images and I can also use these same icons and turn them into a repeat pattern. It just makes it a lot easier to create more. I mean I will always draw more and paint more and add more into each thing and it speeds things up but it also like it, it makes a lovely coherence if I was making a set of cards and I used little bits of the same um, same icons and images on each card it's just really nice so that's why I do things separately like this <laughs> Thank you. 
My style is very much about mixing the soft watercolors with the graphic elements. It's kind of how I how I keep it fresh but still soft and yeah, it's just what I love. So I find that digitally is the best way for me to do that and play around with it. Um, you will see that from here I will put them onto, I will, I will scan them, digitize them, and then I'll start playing around with them on my iPad. And, you know, I could go straight to the iPad and just draw them in there. But this actual step of painting it's really important to me. I, I love painting. And the act of drawing them first and then painting these plants, it's just part of the process. It's part of the creative process. I get more comfortable with the shape. And then therefore, as I draw it again and again, I get looser and more free with the shape and more confident with the lines. And that shows in the final product. So all of these little steps, they count for something. They make the work looser. They make the work fresher. What I'm doing here is choosing the right shade of pink for the flower that I want to paint. I have a little collection of my favorite colors and on the back of each card shows me what, what's the mix, what paints I need to make that color. This is actually acrylic. The base of this is a Jane Davenport acrylic from a neutral set, which is my favorite of all her sets. And I go ahead and mix it all up. The gouache, the acrylics, bit of water. Just go for it, guys, go for it. finished my painting and I have scanned it, digitized it and moved it onto the iPad. And you can see me here now. This is where I start to really play and work into it with the iPad. I clean it all up. I start adding in different shades and playing around with the lines and the textures that I want in there. I'm using this little image of Cosmos to help me, um, to help me with the, the, the texture and colors of the flower. Obviously I don't copy it. I don't want anything to look like the photo. I like to do a sort of stylized version of things i hope this has been interesting for you i thank you so much for watching this is my first video in a really really long time so it's taking me a little while to get back into the swing of things again i have really enjoyed it and if you would like to see the final image then please hop over to instagram where you'll find me there i'll put the link in the box below and i post all my work up there and I'm there all the time. So do follow me there and you can see what this image and further images using these icons will end up looking like. All right, lovelies, take care. Bye for now.